Hey everybody, today's instructional video is going to go over how to replace the packing and lower stem in a 30,000 psi needle valve. Uh, what I've got here today is I've got a repair kit that consists of the lower stem, top and bottom washer, Teflon packing, and a bottom spacer, which are all the components that make up the packing area inside this block. Just to save some time today, I removed the handle, locking device screw, and spacer from the top of the block, and I've actually untorqued the packing gland. So the first thing we're going to do today is we're going to take the packing gland and stem assembly out of the body. And when we do that, we just simply rotate it counterclockwise and pull this out. Now there's two scenarios that can happen here. All the washers can stay down inside the block or sometimes if we're lucky, all the washers and, and packing come out. So let's kind of see what happens here today. All right, in this case, all the washers stay down inside the block. So the next step what we want to do is we want to push the stem forward and remove the lower stem. The lower stem is a slotted design that actually fits up inside the upper stem assembly. So the upper stem has a slot and the lower stem has a mating part that goes down inside the slot and you basically just pull it out like that. The upper stem or the, the upper part of the lower stem I should say has some lubrication on it um, and what that does is it just reduces any of the friction while the valve is, the stem is rotating. So let's put that lower stem aside because we don't need that anymore. And our next step now is to remove the washers that are down inside the valve block. Now I've got a screw extractor that I purchased at a local hardware store and mounted it into a T-handle. So all we've really got to do is put the screw extractor down inside. The first thing we're going to pull out is the top washer. So the top washer is now out of the body. So what we have left now is a one piece of packing, one bottom washer, and one lower spacer. So our next piece of the puzzle that comes out would be the packing and the lower bottom washer. So sometimes what I like to do is just give it a quick little tap and when I do that the bottom washer and packing should come out all in one piece which it did there. So we want to remove that from the screw extractor and set those old parts aside and then the last part that comes out would be the bottom spacer and again just a slight tap with the, with the hammer and that lower spacer should come right out of the body. So now our body is completely empty we have no more packing components inside the bottom of the block. So what I like to do is make sure that there's no nicks or scratches or make sure there's no debris down inside the valve block. And this one looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do now is open up my repair kit. So these are all brand new components that we stock here at HIP. And again, it comes with the lower stem, top and bottom washer, and bottom spacer. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put my lower spacer down inside the block. And basically all we're doing is we're, we're, we're reversing the process of when we took parts out. Lower spacer first, bottom washer next, one piece of Teflon packing, and one top washer. So now all of our packing components are down inside the block. So now our next step is to put the lower stem back on, or a new lower stem I should say, on the, uh, on the upper stem. So but again, you can just take a little bit of the lubrication that's on the, on the upper stem now and spread it on top of the, uh, of the upper end of the lower stem, slide it down in the slot, and the one thing we want to make sure is that we back this completely out of here. So that way we, when we put the stem down inside the body, that the tip of the stem does not drive into the seat of the valve when we go to retorque it. So let's just back this off until we're out of thread, and right now it's stopped. So basically now we just put this back inside the block, we thread this down until it bottoms out, we would take our torque wrench, we torque this valve in particular to like 30 to 35 foot pounds, and we would put the locking device back on with the screw and the spacer, put the handle back on, and the valve is now ready to go back in service. 